Hi guys, Mike back again with another board game solution video. This time we're going to be looking at Fortune and Glory, the cliffhanger game. Um, saw this on um, Board Game Geek um, and, and really wanted to pick it up. So I mean, I'm based in the UK, um, so I had a bit of a job um, trying to locate it in the UK, but but managed to find it, wonders of the internet and all that, um, and, and it arrived... Uh, arrived a, a few weeks ago um, and I've been playing it um, it's got a solo option and it's it's brilliant really really good really exciting and thematic great components um, really really enjoy it it's um, set in the 1930s 40s that kind of um, adv pulp adventure type setting you know kind of very Indiana Jonesy um, where you're traveling the world looking for artifacts um, which which then you're actually going to go on to sell and try and accrue uh, fortune and then while you're searching for these artifacts um, you you try and uh, overcome situations and tasks and things and then you, by doing that you you accrue glory so whoever accrues the, much, the most fortune and glory um, wins the game first thing you notice about this game is that the box is huge um, probably a bit bigger than it needs to be but uh, when you get inside um, you notice that the board is massive. Um, it's a map of the world, map of the world where you where you travel the world basically looking for artifacts um, before your competitors or the enemy. So brilliant board, lovely quality, um, very very nice. But you need a big table to play it on. So that's that. So for storing the actual game, we've gone back to the old uh, black foam core which I like, which is which is really easy to work with um, and, and you can make anything you like basically. So for this this one, we've got in this larger section here, we've got the, uh, the quick start rules and the rule book. Fair, fairly hefty rule book, um, 32 pages. Um, but then within the rule book, you've got different ways of playing it. You can play it cooperatively or competitively and you can play it on your own or you can play it with others. Um, you can play it um, with um, with with sort of difficult enemies or kind of easier to defeat or evade enemies. So, so there's lots of ways to play the game and, and, and the rulebook covers all of those scenarios. So you don't actually have to learn all the rules in one go um, and it kind of eases you into it quite gently, which is, which is pretty cool. Um, components then, we've got uh, the time tracker, which is, you know, very, very nicely detailed. Um, and, you know, that kind of thick, thick cardboard with a kind of plastic coating, you know, it's very, you know, smooth. So very nice, very nice quality component there and then we've got our main tokens and bits and bobs so we've got wound markers again made out of the same plasticky um, cardboard the plastic coated cardboard stuff um, so wound markers success and danger markers um, we've got the the skulls here which represent where your um, artifacts are around the world um, got the tokens for the the main um, enemies and we've got some stuff there for the mob um, the mob and Nazi bases and again Nazi and mob tokens there and we've got some um, hero miniatures these are the miniatures you get uh, a miniature for each hero they're, they're pretty nice sculpts um, and then a load of dice basically um, I just swapped out the dice I, I picked up some different dice so um, went to went to an online dice shop and picked up some white dice for the heroes and some black dice for the villains and then occasionally you need a three-sided dice so picked up a three-sided dice as well just to well why not eh <laughs> i think it was only 30p so there we go so that's the um the plano box with all the tokens and stuff and then we get into the character sheets so we've got oh no these are not the character sheets these are the villain villain sheets so we've got the um the mob and the Nazi um, cards, so it lets you know um, what tactics the mob or the Nazis are gonna utilize. So that's those. And then we've got the soundtrack. As far as I understand, most Flying Frog production games come with a with a CD, CD soundtrack. <laughs> um, I have listened to it from start to finish, and it's, it's all right. It's, it's uh, goes for about half an hour, um, and they, a, a typical game for it goes for about ooh, hour and a half, hour and a half to three hours maybe. So you're going to be listening to the soundtrack quite a bit if, you, if you're into that sort of thing. But it's okay. It, it, it kind of uh, makes the game a little bit more thematic and um, 
you know, I mean, I think it'd be quite cool having the Indiana Jones soundtrack blast in while you're while you're playing the game, especially if you kind of <laughs> succeed in some sort of task or something, and then the Indiana music Jones starts up. That'd be quite cool. So that's your um, enemy enemy sheets, enemy information. And on this side, then we've got the hero hero characters, um, and again with flying frog. From what I've seen, they tend to use their own actors or members of staff. Even I don't know who they are. Um, but you know they they use these people for uh, for most of their games. So, but they're very nicely done. As again, thick card, very nice quality. Uh, again, that plastic coated stuff. So you get yeah your details of your 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 hero. So and where he starts on the board and his abilities and his attributes and how many wounds he's got. So very very nice. So that's that. Um, then on over here. We've got, um, I've made little compartments for all the enemy miniatures. So lots and lots of miniatures. So there we've got our, our general kind of Nazi rank and file Nazi soldier. Um, so they're, they're all the green figures. And then within that, we've got red figures who, um, who are our Nazi um, main villains, if you like. So they're the Nazi ones. And then you get the same with the the mob. So you get your mobsters here with their Tommy guns. Tommy guns and trilbies. And then you get your main mob guy there. So very, very nice. It's um it's really nicely done. Um, and then you get your Zeppelin. What's a pulp adventure game without a Zeppelin traveling around the world? So that's your Nazi Zeppelin. Um, and then you get a load of um, Aztec temples, which you can go and search for fortune and artifacts. But you have to get out before they collapse because they've got a tendency to do that. And then in my two bags here, um, we've got our fortune and glory, which are represented by these plastic um, tokens here. So you've got uh, small ones and, and larger ones. So the, the small ones represent one fortune and the big ones represent five fortunes. So my daughter's obsessed with these. <laughs> she thinks I've stolen her, her toy money. <laughs> So there we go, so that's that. So we've got the gold ones for the fortune and we've got the blue ones for the glory. So that's that. So they're quite nicely stored in, in those bags there. And then finally, I made a, um, a removable... Um, look, turn that first. A removable card box for all the, um, for all the cards basically. Um, again, lots and lots of cards. There's uh, dangers and adventures and artifacts and the villain events cards and lots and lots of cards. And to, just to, as a bit of fun, really, <laughs> to separate them, um, I made my my good old um, paper and laminated um, bits of card again. But I I went online and downloaded the font for the uh, it's called the adventure font. So it's kind of like that Indiana Jones writing. So I'm pretty pleased with that actually. It came out pretty nice. So as you can see there, dangers, adventures. So that separates all the cards there. So and again, um, very nice quality, really thick cards actually for cards. I mean, these do not need sleeving, I wouldn't have said, but um, very nice, very nice cards. And you can take this out of the main box and just have it at the side of the table and just draw cards. So it saves you having to have pop decks of cards all over the place. So that's it basically, that's, uh, that's Fortune and Glory, um, excellent game, highly recommended. Um, if you can find it, I would thoroughly recommend picking it up, um, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching guys.